evening, Brixton! <laughs> well, it's great to be here in beautiful Brixham, an historic fishing port for centuries. People have fished out of this port, very important port uh, to some, perhaps even the birthplace of trawling. And it's still a very important fishing community, but it's also, of course, got farming as well all around it. Now, a few years ago, there was a little thing called a referendum, and the people of Brixham decided by a thumping majority to vote to leave the European Union, which I must say I thought was a rather sensible <laughs> thing to do. However... Today, we will assess how is Brexit working out for the fishing industry? Did they get a good deal? How is Brexit working out for the farming industry? And if people are not satisfied, what can we do to improve upon that? We'll also talk about national politics, but first, we went out earlier today around town to see what local people think about the town in which they live. always things happening in Brixham. It seems, I don't know, it's one of those places where nearly every day there's something happening here. It's a very, very lively, really, it's a, in a quiet way. <laughs> it's, it's very busy. I mean, people don't appreciate it. It's, it's actually a working harbour. It is a working town. Um, you can come and get fresh fish. There's lots of nice restaurants. It's uh, not very commercialised, so it's not like a seasidey place. Lots of lovely walks. It's just... Nice place to be. It's the beauty of it as well. You know, you go down to the breakwater and it's stunning and you go swimming, yes. feed the swans. There were dolphins in the harbour a few weeks ago. Yeah. Just a mum and her baby dolphin while we were just standing watching the band play in the harbour. So it's it's like kind of a postcard place to live. It's so relaxed. It's, it's just nice. Everyone's nice. You meet so many nice tourists that come down throughout summer months. And it is, yeah, it's, it's a delight to live here. There's, there's the community and everyone sort of looks out for one another yeah. and it's, it's just nice, they're just nice to each other. And there's a lot more people come down here now since, um, since the pandemic. I think it's good for people to come into the area and bring, bring their skills down here. If they're doing that or retire, a lot, a lot of people are doing all sorts of things for different reasons now. Well, I've got to tell you, I've never been anywhere in my life where the local residents were more enthusiastic about the place in which they live and I have to apologise to all of you because after that clip a lot more people will be moving down here, I've no doubt <laughs> about it. And we're going in, over the course of the next hour to come back to that harbour, to fishing, to how the community is doing, to what the difficulties and problems are and what we can improve, you know, really improve upon. We'll talk about farming, livestock in particular, our new trade deals with Australia and elsewhere going to be a good thing or a bad thing.